All right, now we're going to try to find the radius if you are given the surface area of a sphere. All right, so find the radius of a sphere whose surface area is 256 pi. So what we need to pay attention to is the fact that they're giving us the surface area. That tells us we want our surface area formula. So if we remember from our last video, our surface area formula is 4 pi r squared. Now we're just going to plug in the things we know. So they told us the surface area is 256 pi, so that goes in for the surface area. So 256 pi equals, and then the only other unknown is the radius, that's actually what we're trying to find, so that's going to stay 4 pi r squared. And now we have this nice little equation where we can solve for our radius. A uh, couple things I want to point out. You can see this is 256 times pi, so we have multiplication there. And this is 4 times pi times r squared, so that's a lot of multiplication there. What I do notice is we have a pi in each one, so that's what I like to get rid of first. If you divide both sides by pi, those pi's are going to cancel, leaving us with an easier equation to solve that doesn't have the pi. 256 equals 4r squared. All right, so now we're going to work on solving for the r. We've got that 4 in front, so we're going to divide by 4. 256 divided by 4 is 64, is equal to r squared. And then our last step is we're going to square root both sides. Square root of 64 is 8. And then, remember, in algebra... If you are solving an equation and you're square rooting both sides, you do get two answers, plus or minus. So you have to think, does a positive 8 and a negative 8 make sense for this example? Because we're talking about the radius of a circle, then that means that you're not going to measure a radius with a negative value. So we only want the positive 8. Um, and then they did not give us a unit, so we're going to say the radius is 8. And then the question is, should it be units or units squared? Well, we didn't just find an area, it's just a radius, so it's just going to be 8 units. And now we have our radius.